you told city staff not to get in a car with the mayor because you were worried about drinking and driving. Yeah, I told my staff that they couldn't drive with him, uh, not because he was drunk at the time, but because, as I told Rob, I couldn't be sure when and when when and where he might be or might not be. And so just as a matter of course, for the protection of our staff, I wouldn't let them drive with him where he was the driver. What about the rest of us on the roads? What if he had hit me? What if he had hit somebody else? I mean, did you not have a responsibility to protect everybody else on the roads? In that instance, no. In that instance, here I was aware that he had done it in the past. If I had information that he was doing it now, or at, the, at that time, if we knew that he was drunk or under the influence of anything when he got into a car, would we have called the police? Absolutely. That but was you, one of the rules I had with staff. You didn't have a responsibility to say, I'm sorry, you can't drive, or to ensure that uh, other people knew that he ha- was... Matt, it- from the first day that I met him, I told him he couldn't drive because politicians should never drive. But not about politicians ever driving. This is about somebody drinking and driving, yeah. as you say. But uh, what could I have done? I didn't know when he would be drinking. If we had known that he was drinking, we would have called them. I knew of two incidents, I explained them in the book, where it became apparent to me that he had driven while he had used alcohol. Yeah. Uh, both of those cases I heard about well after the fact. The police told me that they knew and were monitoring him regularly. I'm not sure what more I could have done. 